How to clean a small pet's cage. It's not the best part of owning a pet, but somebody's gotta do it. You will need an empty, dry bathtub, a large garbage bag, paper towels or dish towels, dishwashing detergent or other mild soap, clean bedding, aspen shavings, pelleted paper or hay, and a dustpan and brush or vacuum cleaner. Optional, white vinegar. Step one, put your pet in a safe, enclosed place where he can stay while you clean his cage. An empty, dry bathtub or an empty wastebasket, clean of course, works well. Step two, take all the toys, food dishes, and water bottles out of the cage. Step three, dump the dirty bedding from the cage into a garbage bag. Step four, using paper towels, remove any clumped bedding that's stuck to the bottom of the cage. Animals often use the corners of cages as their bathrooms. Step five, soak a paper towel or dish towel with water and a bit of mild soap. Use it to wipe out the entire interior of the cage, all the nooks and crannies. If the cage still smells after you've washed it, you can wipe it down with a solution of equal parts of white vinegar and water, then rinse it thoroughly. Step six, use paper towels or a clean dish towel to dry the cage completely. Step seven, line the cage with a few inches of clean, new bedding. Pine and cedar shavings contain chemicals that can be harmful to small animals, so don't use them. Step eight, clean your pet's plastic toys, food dishes, and water bottle with mild soap and warm water, then rinse and dry them thoroughly. Step nine, replace any cardboard tubes, paper towels, and other nesting materials. Step 10, fill the dishes with new food and put new water in the water bottle. Step 11, Put the toys, food dishes, and water bottle back in the cage. Rearranging your pet's toys and bowls each time you clean the cage gives him something new to explore. Step 12. Use a dustpan and brush or vacuum cleaner to sweep up the floor or surface around and under the cage. Step 13. Return your pet to his sparkling clean quarters and watch as he starts rearranging everything the way he wants it. Did you know, in the wild, Hamsters dig and live in tunnels up to three feet deep. 